What's up guys, this is Antoine Goodwin with CNET.com. I'm on the floor at CES 2013 in the Garmin booth with Kip Donlinger of Garmin and we're about to take an extremely early first look at Garmin's idea for the dashboard of the future. This is the K2 infotainment platform and it's basically Garmin's take on how they would handle the dashboard if they handled the whole thing. Now, before you get a little worried about Garmin doing dashboards, no, they've been doing airplane dashboards for years, so they've got a pretty good idea of how this sort of interface design thing works. So, Kip, why don't we walk through exactly what we're working with here? Sure. Um, in the center console here, we have a 10.4 inch capacitive touch display, mm -hmm. and underneath that, we have a, a bank of buttons that uh, uh, allow you to jump to between the different modes of the system as well as some audio preset buttons down below it. Yeah, those are always really good, just when you're driving. Yeah. Um, so we've got uh, navigation here. I'm assuming this is the really good Garmin navigation. Is there anything new that we're seeing uh, from your turn-by-turn -turn directions? These... Yeah, let me, uh, let me go ahead and start a route. We've, we've uh, situated the vehicle in, in Chicago, and in addition to having Garmin's normal navigation capabilities, we also have, for the first time, some very immersive 3D graphics and so we're driving past Grant Park right now in downtown Chicago and you'll see as we drive the route that we have um, realistic representations of buildings as well as uh, landmarks. Now we already know you guys do navigation well. You've been doing that for a long time. Let's talk about some of the the other communications things that you kind of uh, have working in this new K2 system. So communications is a big part of the story and so we have a uh, Android phone that's tethered using a Garmin app uh, and it's tethered over Bluetooth and it allows you to access any of the data or apps um, on the system and do so in a safe way. So the types of things I'm going to show you here are things that you would do while the vehicle is stopped. So for example, you can pull up any contact information off of your phone. We had a little bit of fun with this and we pretended that this was Abraham Lincoln's phone and the type of contacts that he would have on it. And so it's pulling this, uh, it's pulling the pictures as well as all the contact information from the phone. In addition, you can, you can do uh, text messaging from it. Again, this is all being enabled by the smartphone. Talking, I just sent the Abraham Lincoln's phone an email, and you'll see this is the type of pop-up that you would get when you were driving, and you could hit play. And using text-to-speech, it would, it would read to you the email that just came in. So we have a, a, what we refer to as a message center, which is, can be customized for a particular driver. So you can select each one of these columns is what we refer to as a tool and you're able to select different types of things that you want to have access to easily from your car. So for example, here you're seeing calendar information from your smartphone. Same thing, we've got email in here as well. Uh, we've got, you can select things like weather. Now this, this giant 10 inch screen right here in the dashboard is just one of two screens that uh, you guys are showing off that's part of this K2 uh, infotainment platform. I'm noticing here, uh, Behind the steering wheel, we've got a, a really large 12-inch screen that's integrated pretty well, if I might add, into the sort of bezel of, uh, of, of the instrument cluster. Yeah, like you said, this is a 12-inch display. Um, both of these displays are driven by the same processor, mm -hmm. so it can drive multiple uh, displays in 1080p video. And what this does is it gives you access to relevant information uh, in kind of a summary fashion. And you're able to see information related to each one of the modes of the system and, and control that with uh, buttons on the steering wheel. And so right now, obviously, it's, it's showing what's playing on the media player. You can also toggle to get, uh, to get uh, navigation information. If we were actually uh, routing to a destination, it would be showing you what lane you should be in and what your next turn coming up is, as well as seeing summary information related to connectivity. So it's, again, pulling from the smartphone. Um, and then I'm also understanding that there's some really good voice uh, technology you guys wanted to demonstrate as well. Yeah, so we think the, that uh, the best solution is a, is a hybrid voice uh, recognition solution where you have some commands that are interpreted on board, but other things that are done off board. And so, so for example, while you're driving, you, you might ask a question such as, How can I help you? Where can I get a beer? Important questions in life. And it comes back um, after it goes off board and interprets that question. Here. There's a place called Tilted Kill Pub and Eatery just ahead on North Wabash Avenue. 
And this is ready to go now. This is all it's set up, and it could be installed maybe in a vehicle uh, as soon as you guys find a partner to it, take it. It's it, it's still a bit of a work in progress, but you can see that we've we've accomplished a lot in just uh, just a handful of months uh, this past year. But yeah, it, we're we're we are ready to have discussions, and are already having discussions with OEMs, and, and hope to have this in a vehicle sometime in the near future. Awesome. Well, this has been the Garmin K2 infotainment platform. We've been here with Kip from Garmin, and I'm Antoine Goodwin with CNET.com. Come.